Welcome back children. So today we will do some uses of few non-metals. Now you know silicon is the second most abundant element found on the earth's crust. Sand which you see, what is it? It is a compound of silicon called silicon dioxide, SiO2. Now, silicon has lot of uses. Silicon, when combined with carbon, forms silicon carbide, which is commonly called as carborannum, the second most hardest substance after diamond. Right? It is generally used for making the teeth of grinders which are used for grinding or for boring through rocks and stones in grinding machine. You must have heard of the boring machines. They use a teeth wheel which is made up of carborundum that is silicon carbide. Quartz, you must have heard of quartz watches. So quartz crystals are also silicon dioxide which vibrate and thus helps us to get to measure time accurately. Silicon dioxide is also used in making cement and glasses. Silicon is also used for making waterproof cloth and in insulating materials. Next is phosphorus. Phosphorus is found in two forms. One is red phosphorus, another is white phosphorus or yellow phosphorus. Now phosphorus is used in making <coughs> fertilizers. Red phosphorus is also used in making the head of matchstick. You must remember this. Every day you are using it at home. Phosphorus is also used in making crackers, firecrackers. Phosphorus is also used in making pesticides for killing pests. You must remember some common uses of phosphorus. Next, we will go through sulphur. Now, sulphur is a yellow crystalline amorphous solid, right? Now, in the form of hydrogen sulphide, it is present in the form of gas, in petroleum gas, and in coal gas. Sulfur is present in hair, in eggs, in wool and many other proteins. Now one very important use of sulfur is for vulcanizing rubber. Now you know what are the uses of rubber. The most important use of rubber is in making tires. Now rubber is a very soft material. But you have seen that tires are so hard. How does it become so hard? That is because rubber is treated with sulfur and then only it becomes so hard. So this is called vulcanization of rubber. So sulfur has its one of very important use in vulcanization of rubber. Sulfur is also used in making fireworks, in making artificial hair colors, as well as in making pesticides in agriculture. Next is, we'll do alloys. Now what is an alloy? <clears throat> a 
a mixture of a metal with other metals or a mixture of a metal and a non metal is called an alloy so alloys are always mixture the most common alloy is brass clear it is an alloy of copper and zinc clear which you call in hindi as pital so that is brass now brass has the properties of both copper as well as that of zinc another is bronze this is a mixture of copper and tin so whenever these alloys are made it bears the properties of each of its constituent metals similarly steel is also an alloy of iron plus carbon right apart from these many alloys are there which you will get in your book in the form of a chart out of these some important are duralumin magnesium and are written here so you should try to remember the constituent metals or a non metal of which the alloy is made the name of the alloy and at least two uses of each alloy that is all so in our next class children i will do the objective questions which are given at the back of the chapter right so till then thank you